Here's football. And welcome, welcome here at the Coach's Corner, the Callaway Cavaliers edition. We're here at Johnny's Pizza across from the mall. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't had any dinner plans, come on over and, uh, and grab you some pizza. It's really good. They also have that lunch buffet uh, every day of the week. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, this is the Callaway Cavalier edition. We're here with uh, Coach Pete Wiggins. And, uh, Coach, we had a big win last week, huh? Really proud of our kids. I thought that we had a good week of uh, preparation at practice, and uh, I think that's the key to being successful. And uh, we went up on the road and <clears throat> uh, were able to execute, uh, I, I felt like, in all phases as far as offense, defense, and special teams, uh, able to get a big win on the road. And uh, <clears throat> from a from a defensive standpoint, we scored three three times. And uh, any anytime you can do that, it sets a tone. It gives your offense momentum. Uh, it gives the team momentum. And uh, I'm really proud of the kids uh, defensively. Kamadre Bray had a, a scoop and score. Um, Barnes uh, had a had a pick six. And uh, uh, anyway, those two young men uh, did really well. Uh, I want to mention mention Hunter Williamson. He's our kicker. Um, and uh, yeah, special teams, so many times is not talked uh, talked about enough during during a game, uh, uh, during a, an interview, or during a, you know a radio a session. But uh, uh, Friday night, Hunter Williamson he kicked. Uh, we had eight kickoffs, and he kicked five of them in the end zone. And I'm really proud of him. I mean, any time that you can guarantee that the other team starts on the 20-yard line, that's really special. He, he, he's gotten better each week. Uh, Hunter works really hard, and uh, uh, he's getting better at punting. And I'm really proud of him and his work ethic that he puts into our team each week. Absolutely. And we failed to mention it, but, of course, this was on the road against Temple, the Temple team, uh, the victory 49 nothing. Um, and you spoke of Hunter Williamson as kind of an unsung hero. Uh, uh, any other uh, highlights that you saw, people maybe that failed to get mentioned in these kind of victories? Well, I, I was really proud of, uh, you know, I mentioned our defense scored three times. I, I was proud of our uh, those guys. Uh, Coach Hubbard, uh, he always gets some donuts when we put zero, when we uh, don't allow a touchdown. And this is our third game that uh, we've not allowed a, a score in. So, so uh, uh Coach Hubbard and Miss Courtney, they've been uh, they've been busy at the donut store, and uh, that that's that's real special. So uh, on I can, Monday, uh, he, I, he I today, could, there's probably some offensive linemen I can think of off the top of my head that really enjoy those donuts. <laughs> well, uh, it's just for, but but the the donuts go for the defense. Oh, so those okay, big yeah. old linemen, they they, they don't they don't get any, so they they're uh, they're jealous. But uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm really proud of those defensive guys uh, for the effort that they, they had Friday night. And it really just set the tone from a, uh, a physicality standpoint as well. We ran to the ball and uh, creating turnovers and uh, <clears throat> really set the tone for the game. All right. And other unsung heroes, uh, uh, how about the the good folks that provide our pregame meal? Well, Miss Patterson, uh, she, she's been uh, – uh, with us a long time, and uh, she's had uh, this is her third son that's played played for us, and uh, so she's been doing pre games a long time, and the kids all, always really enjoy uh, the meals that she prepares, and I, I just want to say thank you to her and uh, the ladies that serve the meal, and uh, it's it's kind of like. Uh, uh, her, her her meals are a lot like my memos. They're always kind of a meat and three type thing, and uh, it's really country cooking. And uh, uh, when the, here's how you know when the kids really are enjoying the meal when it when it's quiet when you've got a hundred kids out in the cafeteria, and there and there's not <laughs> and there, there's nothing being said, and uh, so so they're they're really enjoying this food, and uh, you can always tell again uh, uh, how good it is by the 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 noise level in the in the locker room or in the cafeteria and uh again those guys were really uh uh enjoyed the the food that miss patterson pro provided for us uh friday so uh, i want to say thank you to her and i want to say thank you to uh uh mr james moon uh, he always takes care of us after the game and has us a a post game meal there and ready to go and he gets us gator rage and and that's really special you know as soon as we come off the field Go get dressed in the locker room. Come out of the locker room. Uh, <clears throat> we've got uh, cheeseburgers and a Gatorade waiting on on the, the kids. Uh, that's always special. And somebody's got to go get it. Somebody's got to prepare it. And, and uh, so I, again, thank you to uh, uh, Mr. Moon for all those things that he does behind the scenes that not not a lot of people know. 
Yeah, we greatly appreciate it. And what we'll do, we'll take a real quick break, and we'll touch a little bit more on Unsung Heroes, uh, the week in review, and also looking forward to the week, uh, the next regional game against Bremis. We'll take a real quick break here on Eagle Sports. Are you just another truck owner that blends in with all the other truck owners? If the answer is yes, then it's time for you to head to Nissan of LaGrange. It is Take Home a Titan Truck Month. During this time, you have the opportunity to make a statement as a truck owner and take advantage of America's best truck warranty. The all-new Titan comes with a five-year, 100,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. This isn't some silly powertrain warranty. This is the real deal peace of mind that no other manufacturer is offering. So come see me, Richard Cates, at Nissan of LaGrange and stand out from the crowd. What do you see when you look at your home and your car? Do you see a bundle? A combo deal? That's how other insurance companies see them. But a State Farm agent sees so much more. Because a State Farm agent sees your home and your car as more than just four walls and four wheels. They see the things you've worked really hard for. So why not give them the protection they deserve? Your State Farm agent is Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, we believe teamwork makes all the difference in your health. We believe that skilled people can achieve higher standards and exceptional results. We believe in a game plan that's focused on patient safety and quality care. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center in LaGrange, we believe in life well lived. To learn more about award-winning health care, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. Now back to the Coach's Corner live at Johnny's New York Style Pizza on Eagle 1023, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at Eagle1023.com. And we're back at the Coach's Corner, the Callaway Cavaliers edition with Coach Pete Wiggins here at Johnny's Pizza across from the mall. Still plenty of time to get some dinner and some excellent pizza. Uh, we were just talking to the break, Coach, about the, I guess that was a meat lover's pizza or something. It's the real deal, yeah. It? That's good. I was just saying. <laughs> we we, we may have to sneak back over there yeah. and get another piece. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, well, let's talk right back uh, the last week. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is that you had several uh, players and cheerleaders visit uh, both Hillcrest and Franklin Forest Elementary School. The kids always enjoy going out to the elementary schools, and uh, uh, we appreciate uh, you know all those involved. But we you know we also had some uh, cross country kids and volleyball and uh, softball players that went with us, and uh, always a big night, a big morning, big big uh, treat for for uh, the high school guys and and and, and ladies. I, I don't again. I, I said it last week. I don't know who has more fun, the high school kids or. Or the elementary kids getting to yeah. see, but uh, anyway, very special uh, morning. I uh, appreciate those elementary schools for allowing us to be there. Um, <clears throat> back to the Temple game. Wanted to talk a little bit more about our offense. I uh, didn't really mention them much, but uh, I was proud of our offensive line. Uh, uh, guys up front did a good job opening up holes. Uh, Tank Bixby had 140 yards rushing, and uh, um, Quay Hines. And heck, I can't I can't remember how many he had, but he had a lot of yards rushing as well, and. Uh, uh, Jacob did a good job throwing the ball. Demetrius Coleman did a good job throwing. Uh, but, uh, you know, those guys that all starts up front, Keandre Jones, uh, uh, Porterhouse, uh, Keyshawn Cameron, uh, Tate Johnson, <clears throat> Braylon Mitchell, Austin Thomas, uh, uh, all those guys had had uh, a big night for us, and uh, they played well, had several pancake blocks. So re- really proud of those guys up front for setting the tone in the trenches and, you know, al- allowing our backs to – to, to run free and uh, giving our quarterback time. And a lot of times you don't hear those guys' names, and it's the backs, it's the quarterback, it's the receivers. who mm-hmm. That's the names you see in the paper and you hear more on the radio maybe. But uh, it all starts up front on the offense and defensive line. And I'm, I'm really proud of those kids for the work that they put in day in and day out in the trenches. And, and uh, again, on our defensive line, uh, uh, we've got a heavy senior class uh, uh, 
on, on the defensive side, uh, 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 Tyreek Andrews, uh, Destin Patrick, uh, Tra uh, Trey Hurd. Uh, those guys have been around a long time. And uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, LaVarish Patterson. Uh, and they played <clears> – <throat> excuse me, they played a lot of plays. Uh, Nathan Sapp, uh, High Douglas. Again, all those guys are seniors, and uh, that's that's who – you know, play for us on the defensive uh, defensive line, and uh, again, they they've kind of uh, been the foundation of our team. And uh, uh, I mentioned those donuts earlier; uh, they really set the tone for uh, being able to get that treat on Monday afternoon. Absolutely, and one thing that we haven't really touched a whole lot on is <clears throat> this victory is our first regional game. I mean, what what does that mean? Getting that you know that first win, going in, getting some momentum for the regional game. Well, uh, last week, uh, obviously, everybody's season started over, and everybody's over know for us and uh, uh, starting out in region play so uh, that that was really good and uh, you know anytime you can get a, uh, a win it's it's uh, that's what you got to do but uh, starting off the region in a positive way and uh, <clears throat> it's going to lead us into this week and uh, got a really tough opponent coming in Friday night and we need uh, all of our, our fans to be at the game it's uh, we're going to be playing uh, Bremen Bremen High School and they're they're undefeated right now. They got big wins over uh, Rabin County and over Cedar Town, and uh, they're they're really a, a, they really have a, a talented team. Uh, team. And uh, uh, Coach uh, Rooster Russell's done a great job uh, uh, with his program. And uh, <clears throat> again, they're they're a hard nosed uh, physical football team. They they uh, there's a lot of seniors. They have over 30 seniors on their mm -hmm. team. So. A lot of three-year starters, and uh, it's going to be a tough opponent for us Friday night. And uh, I, I, you know, uh, <clears throat> they'll they'll come down to to our place uh, Friday night, and uh, uh, they'll bring a, a lot of confidence. And uh, should be a hard-fought ball game. And I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a big challenge against a really good football team, a team that's coached well, and uh, uh, should be an exciting game. So, what? Uh, looking forward to the Bremen game. You just mentioned uh, a lot of the attributes of that team. What would be just a sort of outline of the keys to success for us to be uh, able to get that victory against? <clears throat> I think we got to match their physicality. I think they they uh, uh, they're a really physical team. They they play uh, uh, to the whistle and then some, and uh, I, I think that uh, uh, that's a big part of their success. But anytime you got that many seniors that have had that many reps, uh, you know they've got a lot of three-year starters, and uh, uh, that's that's hard to to match and. Uh, uh, so they've had a lot of success and been in some big ball games, and uh, uh, so so we'll really have to, to, to be ready to go to uh, uh, you know to match that experience, and uh, we'll have to make some plays when it counts, and uh, uh, there will be opportunities, and we just got to take advantage of them when they come. All right, coach. We'll talk a little bit more about Bremen, but first we'll take a real quick break. Uh, we'll be back with the Callaway Coaches Corner here on uh, Eagle Sports. Hi, football fans. Jonathan Moose Map here from Glenn Smith in Opelika, Alabama. We love this time of year with all the excitement of football, and we also love that Glenn Smith can play a part in supporting high school sports. We support the team, the coaches, the band, the cheerleaders, and of course, the families and the fans. At Glenn Smith, we are proud to be your local Chevrolet Buick and GMC dealer with over 500 new and used vehicles every day. Online 24 7 at glennsmith.com. That's Glenn Smith Chevrolet Buick GMC in Opelika. Get ready to smile. At Holmes Pharmacy, we're in business for your health. So whether you need a prescription or durable medical equipment, at Holmes Pharmacy, we're at your service. Holmes Pharmacy, with quality and service and lower prices, too. Good health to you from Holmes Pharmacy. Now with three locations in Hamilton, LaGrange, and now in Sawmill inside the Big League Wiggly Grocery Store. Come on, take the deal and run. Come on, take the deal and run. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit www.southernorthopedics.com. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. 
Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. Now back to the Coach's Corner, live at Johnny's New York Style Pizza on Eagle 1023, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. And we're back at the Coach's Corner, the Callaway Cavaliers edition here from Johnny's Pizza with uh, Coach Pete Wiggins. I'm Shea Spencer, and uh, we were in the middle of talking about uh, Bremen as the – Rain has just started pouring down out there, but uh, <laughs> it, it's raining sideways. Yeah, outside it came out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, coach, we were talking about uh, Bremen and the keys to success, and um, uh, <clears throat> maybe talk a little bit more about uh, some of the <clears throat> aspects of the game that we can look forward to Friday. Here. Well, talking a little bit more about Bremen, I, I think I mentioned their physicality. I think their defense plays hard. Uh, uh, they show you a lot of looks and uh, a lot of stunts and. Uh, I, I think that uh, uh, they run to run to the ball as well as any team I've seen, and uh, uh, got really good linebackers. And um, uh, their defensive line is is uh, a big, solid group. Uh, in the secondary, uh, I think their their the back end of their defense uh, is is solid. Uh, uh, they're good in coverage, and uh, I, but I think the key is is how hard they play. They they really run to the ball, and they they got some talented kids, and. Uh, uh, so, so it'll be a big challenge for for our offense Friday night. From a from a special team standpoint, their kicker and punters as good as I, as good as you see in high school ball. I mean, their kicker can kick it out of the back of the end zone on kickoffs, and uh, he does a a great job punting the ball. So, uh, you know, special teams uh, it, they're really good at special teams. So, so uh, again, that that could be that could come into play. Uh, in a major way, uh, from an offensive standpoint, I think their quarterback is is a uh, is the key to their offense. He's he's just uh, 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 a solid solid uh, guy. I mean, just watching his demeanor on the field, he's the leader of the team, and uh, uh, he really he, he does a great job uh, with keeping his composure. And he's a good athlete. He's uh, he's got a big arm, but uh, he, he's also a good athlete. He's a big kid, and. Uh, Throws the ball well, but he just runs the show and runs the offense extremely well. And uh, uh, they they have uh, multiple looks. Uh, the back runs hard, and uh, I think they got a good front with their offensive line and uh, uh, good receivers. So uh, just a just a well balanced football team. And uh, 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 it, it you know it should like I said earlier, it's going to be a tough opponent. Uh, uh, they really remind me a lot of the Westminster teams that we played over the years, and. Uh, uh, just uh, you know, a balanced uh, group of guys all the way around. So, so you know, it's a, it'll be a big challenge for us. And we talked about that today to our kids. Where we talked started yesterday in the meetings, and uh, um, uh, it, you know, there there will be a, um, a a physicality Friday night that we'll have to match, and and uh, we'll have to run to the ball from our from from a defensive standpoint and uh, execute offensively. And you you know, you talked about keys to the game for us. Obviously, we have to minimize mistakes, and that's turnovers, that's penalties, and that's and that's just pure opportunities. There's always opportunities in every game uh, that that decide the game, and it may be in the first quarter, second quarter, and, and against good football teams, it may be in the fourth quarter. But but when opportunities come, we got to take advantage of them, and, uh, and and that could be a penalty, it could be a turnover, it could be just pure momentum, and uh, so so when those opportunities come. We have to take advantage of them, and, and we, and we got to score, and we got to put score, uh, points on the board, and obviously keep them out of the end zone. So there's a lot of ingredients to you know to being successful, and uh, uh, when you're playing good teams, and uh, hopefully Friday night we'll have a lot of those ingredients come our way. Absolutely, yeah. and I know I'm thinking back to uh, some of the earlier games this, this year, like uh, Lagrange and Troop, and the importance of playing all four quarters and winning each quarter, because it seemed like sometimes we were, you know. Like you said, making mistakes or there's a penalty here, you know, simple mental things like that. Well, that's part of growing as a team. And, uh, uh, again, I felt like I feel like we are – I know we have. We've played some really good teams up until this point. And, and you got to grow each week. Uh, <clears throat> if you ever start – if you ever stop getting better, well, you got a problem. So, 
uh, <clears throat> from a coaching standpoint, you know, we've we got to go out each day at practice, and, and you can never settle uh, to be the same. You always have to keep growing and getting better, and, and hopefully by the, the, the time you get to week 10, week, week 11, you know, you're playing your best ball, and uh, hopefully that will happen, and, uh, and you're injury-free. And uh, right now we're, uh, you know, we're as healthy as we've been all year. So, so uh, again, <clears throat> we just got to uh, play our style of ball and uh, uh, take advantage of opportunities when they come. And uh, should be a big crowd. It will be a big stage. Both sides will have a lot of folks there. And I know that, um, you know, their, their community is really excited right now. Uh, <clears throat> it's probably – uh, one of the best teams that they've had, and uh, uh, I know that just looking at film, the, the, their crowds are, are, have been really impressive, and uh, uh, so so should be a great atmosphere Friday night at Callaway Stadium. Absolutely. Well, we're going to take another real quick break, and we'll be back with Coach Pete Wiggins on the Callaway Coaches Corner here on Eagle Sports. Hey, it's T.O. Double D, Todd Parrish with Killer Grain. The playbook of savings is set, and we are gearing up for a great season. We have touchdown deals you don't want to miss out on. Get ready to tailgate in your brand new 2019 Kia Sorento LX for only $24,988. Stop by and meet the all-star savings team at 1217 Lafayette Parkway in LaGrange. Or view our complete inventory online at KillerGrange.com. Help support your local economy. Stop number 110917. Price plus tax second title. See Key of LaGrange for complete details. Let me ask you a question. What do you see when you look at your car? Do you just see tail lights? Or your dog's tail wagging when you first brought him home? Do you see four tires? Or two tired kids in the back seat after their first day of school? Other insurance companies just see a car. But a state farm agent sees what your car really means to you. So why not give it the protection it deserves? Your State Farm agent is Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, we believe teamwork makes all the difference in your health. We believe that skilled people can achieve higher standards and exceptional results. We believe in a game plan that's focused on patient safety and quality care. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center in LaGrange, we believe in life well lived. To learn more about award winning health care, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. Now back to the Coach's Corner live at Johnny's New York Style Pizza on Eagle 1023, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. And welcome back to the Coach's Corner, the Callaway Cavaliers edition. We're here with Coach Pete Wiggins. I'm Shea Spencer. Uh, we were just touching upon um, <clears throat> the upcoming game against Bremen. That is September 28th at 7.30, Coach. Uh, some message for the fans out here? Well, we need everybody uh, to be at the game Friday night. It's going to be a big stage. Uh, again, playing a good football team. And uh, Coach Ro uh, Rooster Russell's done a great job with his kids. And uh, uh, they're, they're going to bring a, uh, a lot of people down uh, – Highway 27 uh, Friday night, and I know we'll have a big crowd there Friday night, but need those red and black shirts in the stands. Need everybody's support there Friday night. It'll be a big region game uh, against a good opponent in, in, in Bremen uh, this Friday at Callaway Stadium. Uh, so so um, I want to say thank you to everybody involved. Uh, as always, we're making, making our, our team better, and that's from our, our cheerleaders to our band to our administration, our faculty and staff, and uh, all those behind the scenes, Miss Sheila Allen, she's always uh, uh, doing so much behind the scenes that a lot of folks don't know, and uh, I just appreciate Miss Sheila for all she does. Uh, uh, Mr. James Moon, uh, again, taking care of the uh, the meals for us and uh, helping set that up. Uh, uh, a big thank you to him and uh, and what he does. Uh, and our coaching staff, uh, those guys, uh, they put so much time in into the into our team and into those kids and 
Um, and, it, and, you know, it shows. They care about the – obviously, they're, they're, they're great football coaches, but they're great men, and I appreciate the effort that they put in toward our school and, uh, and toward those kids. Uh, uh, but uh, looking forward to Friday night. Need everybody to come out to Callaway Stadium, 7.30. Yeah, and the one uh, thing here I'm seeing that <clears throat> we haven't quite mentioned is that we have a JV game at Harris County on Thursday night. That's right. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, uh, JV game, uh, 5.30 uh, at Harris County. Uh, kids will leave about 3.30 uh, after school, and hopefully uh, they'll do, go down and do well. And uh, uh, looking forward to that. Absolutely. Well, again, that is Callaway. We're here. We're at home at Callaway Stadium against Bremen. That is September 28th, this Friday night at 7.30. We're looking forward to seeing everyone there, getting as many people out there, as many red and black shirts, as Coach says, uh, and, and get that place uh, rocking like we did at the Troop game, get That's a good right. crowd out there. Uh, we want to thank you for joining us for the Coach's Corner. I want to thank Coach Pete Wiggins. I'm Shay Spencer, and that'll do it for this week's edition of Coach's Corner, the Callaway edition here on Eagle Sports. <laughs>